Hey there, Doug with Neff Automation. Uh, I'm just gonna run you through a breakdown of a Pi Classic from Piab. So this is a vacuum generator. Uh, big distinction between a vacuum generator and a vacuum pump is that there aren't mechanical parts in this that are actually pumping or creating that vacuum. It's using a Venturi effect, but that's for another video. For today, we're just talking about um, how to disassemble this, whether you need to replace or clean out the cartridges um, or just check for any uh, you know missing um, O-rings, things of that nature. So first thing on the end, you'll see these um, uh, these little caps, and so we're just gonna rotate those into the open position. All right, and then on either side, if you go to the opposite end, so there are the caps, you go to the opposite end, you'll see in that square, might be hard to see, but if you put pliers or a screwdriver in there, we're just gonna separate it. So when, when you put it in there, you can just push, it's gonna separate the two pieces, and then you can pop them off you'll see those just kind of slide in there and and engage so now that we've got it apart uh, one thing to notice here's a, a great understanding of where you've got your pressure port your inlet your vacuum and your exhaust and so when then you compare it to inside you can see on your cartridge you've got your pressure section up here your vacuum se section, and your exhaust section. So it's really important, as you can imagine, that one, you've got this gasket completely intact, because if not, you're gonna have the pressure bleeding into the vacuum or the vacuum bleeding into the, the exhaust, and you're gonna have a, a, a major loss in vacuum. Um, so it's important to make sure that that gasket's all intact. And then also with these cartridges, there are O-rings between here and here to make sure that air is not passing between each section, okay? So the next thing we wanna do if we wanna take these cartridges out is where you have these caps, it is easier if you turn them back vertically like so. And then that way you can see how those little tabs show up and those tabs can easily just be Pulled out like that. And then those caps just pop right out. And that's another thing to check for is each of these caps should have an O-ring on them as well. And then inside, the next thing you have to remove is the little um, plastic piece right here, the retainer plate, and we can just pull that out. And now once you've done that, once you've removed your uh, plugs, and then that little retainer plate. At this point, the the cartridges, you can just, I'm just pushing down from the top right there in the pressure inlet side, and that'll disengage them. And then these, the cartridges, will slide out through those, through those cap holes. All right, so that's an easy way to remove your cartridges. And once again, since there's no real mechanical parts in here, a lot of times these can just be cleaned out and then reused. So another thing to be mindful of is on here, you've got these little flaps here. And so these are, this is where we get the three stages of a Piab Venturi cartridge. So it's really important that on these, in order to get the, the larger, or the deeper vacuum, you need these flaps to be able to engage. If these flaps aren't there, you might get plenty of flow, vacuum flow, but you aren't going to get as deep of a vacuum. So these vacuums, the, each, the cartridges actually come apart like this, and then you can see these little rubber flaps. So you gotta make sure that those flaps are covering, are covered covering that opening. If not, if it's turned just 90 degrees, so you can see how those flaps are only on either side. If it's turned 90 degrees, now you can see how that's open, okay? Right there is a covered flap, and now you can see where that's opened. Okay, so that's not gonna allow us to get to that deeper vacuum. So we gotta make sure all those flaps are covering those ports. So, uh, and you can check your your O-rings, like I said, in each of the, at the end there, and then 
you want to have right one right there and then the one covering the pressure port all right so then to uh reassemble it's pretty easy slide these back in make sure that it's in engages in the pressure port side and you should know it snaps but then also because of this retainer ring it just barely fits in there so that'll let you know that it's all snapped into place and then when you put your plugs back in there is just a little a little nub for lack of better words uh at the top of that um that insert and that corresponds to that little hole right there. So that way this piece clips in there just like so. So just make sure that those are at the top. So your retainer clip clips in okay. And now you've got to push those off to the side so you can actually slide your tap top back on. Oh, get it the right orientation. <laughs> so once you get it into there, and once again, make sure that you've got that gasket on there. And once you once you felt it slide in over, then you can just push it together like so. Make sure it's all lined up. And then the check is these will only engage if... Uh, if the two are in line. So let's see if I've got them in line and they they do engage, so that locks it up. So we are good to go. And that is how you disassemble and change or check your cartridges. Hope you enjoyed.